All right, well, I've got my Traxxas Stampede all tore apart here on the kitchen table. And I am sick of the cogging that I get from my Valenian motor and VXL ESE. So I am swapping into a Castle censored motor. And I've got the adapter plate off the Valenian motor onto the Castle censored. And one little tip, the original screws that have kind of a tapered head that seat into that plate, they're too long. They bottom out into the motor. So a little tip, I thought about cutting them shorter, but I found a tiny little washer and I've got a couple of those I put right behind the plate and it took up that, that bit of slack and they tightened down perfectly. So there's a tip. The cleaner way to do it is just to simply get some shorter screws and you can see there's a little gap in there, but it's very minor and I'm confident it's going to hold. So we'll see. And then the... VXL ESC, if I can find it here, is a censored ESC, which I think most people don't realize that it is, and it's got a sensor port on it too. I'm trying to find it to show the camera. All right, so here's the VXL 3S ESC, and right there, this plug pops out to reveal a sensor port. It says auxiliary, but that is a sensor port for the censored ESC. I will let you know soon how that castle censored motor works. It's the 1410-3800 kilovolt brushless censored motor, but the censored wire plugs right in there perfectly. And I'm told it'll work great. If not, I've got a Hobbywing 10BL120 that I can throw in there, but it's only 120 volt working amps versus the 200 for the Valenian or the, yep. So we'll see how this one works first. I'm really curious and I'll keep you posted. So these bullet connectors are 3.5 millimeters, so I'll be swapping those out to the 4.0, but that'll be the only modification that I make to it so far. Okay, so my intention was to go with the um, VXL 3S ESC that came with my Valenian setup there with my Stampede, and use that in censored mode, and the censored mode does not seem to work on it. So this is a sensor port right there. And I have seen people online use this in censored mode. I had no success with it. So I've got my Hobbywing 10BL120 wired in. And I've got a nasty mess here that I've got to clean up. But it works amazing. So my Traxxas Stampede will crawl at a fraction of a mile per hour smoothly with zero cogging. It's amazing. I'll get some video shortly. But... I did a lot of research, nobody ran this setup, but this ESC ran me about 50 bucks. So it is sensor, brushed or brushless, up to 120 amps, um, I think 760 burrs. This is the Castle 1410 3800 turns per volt sensor brushless motor. So it's a little bit faster than the Valenian. Um, this thing rips, this motor stays very cool. My Valenian would burn my finger if I touched it after a lot of bashing. And I ran up and down the street with this quite a few times with the VXL ESC and the motor stayed cool. I'm anxious to get this all buttoned up and see how it does with that. But yeah, if anybody wonders, this is a great setup. The motor cost me about 94 bucks. And then the ESC ran me about 50, maybe 53 bucks off of Amazon. I got both from Amazon and it looks like this is a great setup. I, I went through the calibration phase and it works amazing. So. If anybody is curious, this is a wonderful setup. I'll get some video of it crawling and bashing shortly. Okay. So this is this is 2S LiPo. And with the Castle Creations 1410 3800 turns per volt motor, I've got the Hobbywing 10BL120 ESC. And it's censored, so I'll show you how much it rips, first of all. Change the steering trim a little bit here. So I can't hit it from a dig, it's just ridiculous. It is just stupid fast. So it's speed wise, really, it's not much faster than the Valenian, but the torque is unreal. But the sensor part is the amazing part and why I went through the setup. So this, let me give it a wide open run here. So I've got the. Uh, Techno M6 steel axles, which is why it hasn't grenaded already. But let me give it a little example of the sensor capabilities here. 
to check this curve here, I'll show you. So we're all familiar with the stampede and the Valenian cogging. Well, this is censored. Just creeping right up. So it's what a big difference from the cogging on the Valenian setup here. And what a just a night and day contrast. So I've got a 54 tooth spur gear, 13 tooth pinion gear. So this isn't the ideal crawler setup, but boy, it's just it's amazing though know, how you can just easily walk up anything. No foggy. I'll do it one time. Yeah, I'll do it one more time. Get out of the sun here. So it makes it such a great all-around vehicle now. Get more torque, more top end. With the censored crawling capability. Oh, it's amazing. What a night and day difference. And that is something the Millennium setup could never do. Just feather it up. Wow, what a, what a contrast. Let's we'll see if I can hit a bit of an angle here. Of course, the open discs still are a limiting factor. This isn't a crawler, but you got so much more control at the bottom end now. Yeah, it's just gotten ridiculous. 